when Danny says, we're gonna go pick somebody that creates art, that gets my juices flowing. They're interested in things for the aesthetic, the texture, the lines, the color, and that's what's exciting about digging in these warehouses. Max and Henry. Yes. Hi. Which one's which Max? Henry. <laughs> Henry, nice to meet you. We've known each other a long time, yeah. We've known each other for 20 years, maybe? Maybe so, yeah. I like salvaging things that might be otherwise thrown away. I like stuff, too, that can be repurposed. It has kind of a utilitarian quality about it, too, though. I studied painting when I was living in New York. Oh, you lived in New York? Right in the city? I went to the Art Students League. Oh, no kidding. Is New York where you started collecting? I used to go around New York and get stuff people put out by the street. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. I used to work part-time for a thrift store and uh, that would sell furniture. And me and another guy would have to deliver the furniture on the subways. Oh, really? There was no, there was, <laughs> there was no truck. There was no oh, truck. No kidding. We had to carry, like, bedroom sets down. Like, get out of here. Yeah. Rough. No <laughs> kidding. It's fun to collect here. It's gotten more competitive. There's a lot of people collecting things, and, and you got to beat other people to it. But when you've been in a place all your life, and you know all the back streets, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Neon. Oh, that's a TV station. KMAC TV Motel. I think that was a big deal back then. You can advertise your motel had a TV. Neon clocks come in all shapes and sizes. The money shot is advertising. What's the subject matter? This is TV motel. It's sure. a local piece. I bought it from the south side of San Antonio at the motel. KMAC was radio, and it was one of the first radio stations in town. Yeah. I think people in this part of Texas really like things that were created or made in this part of Texas. I think a lot of people like things that are local. The neon's not hooked up, but. Oh, you can see there's no transformer in it? Yeah, there's no transformer. So there's no transformer in it, so the neon's not going to work. What would you have to have for that? Uh, I'd probably still want like 350. Yeah? I don't think you're out of hand. Someone would redo the neon a bit. The neon might be good, and all you need is a transformer. Yeah. How about 300? Uh, I'll, I'll do three and a quarter. OK, let's do that. I paid 325 for the TV motel clock. I'm going to ask five and a quarter. All right, okay, we're doing this, we're doing this. Some of the best pickers I know in this industry have art degrees, or they're artists. <sighs> thanks, my friend. Yeah, thank you. The experience was good. I enjoy talking about stuff, and I enjoy interaction with other people of similar interests. It was a good experience for me, too. I was impressed that they were, were climbing over things a lot, digging a lot. I like Mac and Frank. Peace. Peace and hair grease. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.